Fireworks! Hey guys, Amphetam here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys the 49th weekly snapshot for 2012. And uh, between the last snapshot and this snapshot, there's been quite a bit of time between those two snapshots. So as you would expect, there is absolutely a ton of things that have been added since then. Although, judging by what you guys are seeing in front of me, you may not think so. But I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to launch it into it here with some of the smaller updates. And then working our way up towards the biggest update of this snapshot. So anyway. There's a couple of item changes involving things like, uh, you know, rails, uh, repeaters, torches, things like that. Uh, a change that has happened with them, well, not them specifically, but uh, if you hold shift and you have any one of these in your hand, basically if you hold shift near something like a furnace, a dispenser, a crafting bench, or things like that, it will actually allow you to place these said items on these different things. Whereas before, like if I don't hold shift and I right click with any item in my hand, it just interacts with said item, like the furnace, it just interacts with it, dispenser, and crafting bench. But if you go ahead and you hold shift, it removes the ability to interact with these things, thus allowing you to place things like ladders, uh, you know, rails, torches, things like that. It allows you to place them all over these blocks, uh, just in case that's kind of something that you're into. Um, so yeah, moving on here, uh, the creation of nether brick slabs or the implementation of nether brick slabs has now been implemented into the game. Uh, very simple to, to craft as you would normally expect. You just take three pieces of nether brick and then you go ahead and you just do that. And then there you go. You have yourself nether brick slabs. So if you are a nether brick slab, a holic, I guess, if that's something you really like building with then you will be very happy with this update so moving on to the next thing here is enchanted books now basically the way enchanted books are made is you all you have to do is you take a regular book just any book uh it doesn't matter i mean books are all the same as long as uh, you haven't written in them or anything uh you go ahead and you uh take them to an enchantment table and then you go ahead and you enchant it and then you can uh use any one of the levels here and you will get a random enchantment on that book uh, and then these also are a rare chance to be found within dungeons as well, and sometimes you can even obtain unobtainable enchantments, I believe. It's at least noted on the Minecraft wiki, you can sometimes get unobtainable enchantments if you uh, get one of these out of a dungeon, so... That's something that's kind of nifty, I guess. And then once you have these, so let's just say, um, let's see, Smite Four. This will be this will be a good example for the sword. So once you have this enchantment book here, what you want to do is you want to take it to an anvil, and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to place uh, the enchanted book in here, or actually place it in second, and then place the respective item that you want to enchant in here. And then it's going to cost me six levels, and then it is going to give the sword Smite Four. And then there you go. That's pretty much how that works in a nutshell. But a pretty goofy bug going on with it in this snapshot is that you can actually enchant anything. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can enchant a book. Yeah, see? Look, this is kind of weird here. I can, en I can enchant the book with protection 3. And it'll just be a regular book that has protection 3. Or I actually have a, bit, a little bit of a better example in here. I'm going to take this block of wood that's right here. And then uh, let's go ahead and let's enchant this block of wood with a knockback 2 effect, which actually can have some really interesting effects. So, uh, because this is a weapon effect, it will apply to the pig right here. And this is something that I've seen used in various adventure maps, more specifically in the extreme ant farm survival, you get a pork chop that has a knockback 2 effect. So this just allows you to do it in vanilla without having to hack it. I kind of hope they keep this feature in if you're on creative mode, because I think that would just be amazing, though I definitely think that it shouldn't be something you can do on survival mode but for creative mode purposes why not right yeah you know, it's just it's just awesome why not it's just it's way too much fun but uh, anyway so again if i wanted to like enchant uh these pair of boots with feather falling or something it would just be just as easy as that and then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put them on yeah not that i'm really gonna need them but anyways moving on here so, the biggest update of 12W49A is the addition of fireworks. Now, I've been spending quite a bit of time trying to learn exactly how these work, but if I do manage to fall short on any of the details, feel free to check out the Minecraft wiki because all of the information you guys are going to need is going to be there. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to explain all of this with the best of my understanding. So, what you have to do uh, when it comes to creating a firework, you can do something like this. So, to create a basic firework that doesn't actually do anything, you can 
can go ahead and you can place paper and gunpowder in this fashion. So as you can see, it just creates a firework rocket and then that's it. You can go ahead and you can add more gunpowder up to three gunpowder to give it a little bit more power um, or at least a little bit more hang time, I believe. But uh, that doesn't really do anything unless you have... I, let me go ahead and let me go into the chest here unless you have a firework star now These are the things that give the fireworks their punch their power their different uh, different sorts of looks They're they're what give them everything so you don't want you really don't want to uh, go crafting them like this because you get just craptastic fireworks It is raining toggle downfall fireworks aren't gonna work very well in the rain. We need Sun for this We need Sun so Sun come out, please. Thank you but yeah, so if I go ahead and I right-click with that, uh, the rocket goes off, but then it just disappears because it has no additional effect to latch onto. So, let me go ahead and let me show you guys how these fire, uh, fireworks stars work. So you can see I have a whole separate chest for it right here. So what the way these work is what you do is you take a piece of gunpowder. Uh, the very minimal thing that you need is you need gunpowder and you need a color. Any color will do, any dye will work, but uh, what it'll do is it'll make the firework that you have just be that color. So let me go ahead and let me try that here. Again, I haven't experimented with literally every single possibility here. Let's go ahead and let's do that. So it creates a firework star, which is going to be a small ball and it's going to be red. So when I attach this to the end of the firework that I create, so let's just go ahead and let's do this here. So this is a firework rocket. When I attach the firework star to the end of it, you can see it adds a whole bunch of details to it, specifically the details that were that of the firework star that I attached. So now when I go ahead and I launch off this firework here, it goes, it doesn't go up very high, and then it just explodes into a red ball. And uh, if you are on survival mode, this uh, would get used up after just one use. I kind of think that for every one you craft, you should get four fireworks because one just kind of seems like it's a little bit too expensive right now. But anyways, moving on here. So what you guys are seeing in the middle here are different ways you can customize the firework stars. So along with placing in the gunpowder and the set color that you want to place, you can place in any one of these. You can place in a head or a feather or a gold nugget or a fire charge. You can't place in two of them at the same time because they do very similar things. Uh, and basically what these dictate is these dictate the shape of the explosion. So if you leave it by default, if you don't place anything in there, you get the small ball like you guys just saw. But if you go ahead and you place a fire charge in there, you will get a large ball. If you place a gold nugget in there, you're going to get a star-shaped explosion. If you place a feather in there, you're going to get a burst-shaped explosion. And I'll show you guys what that is here in just a second. And then if you choose any head, it can be the creeper, it can be the wither skeleton head, or just the regular Steve head. It's going to create a creeper-shaped explosion. And then what these two are down here is these are different effects that can be added to the different explosions. So, after you've set all of these, if you want to uh, put diamonds on your different... Uh, oh god, this is so hard to explain. But if you want to put a diamond onto your firework star, uh, it will create a trail. So the effect, once it explodes, it's going to leave a trail, and then the glowstone dust is going to leave a twinkle. So let's go ahead and let's try and launch right into this here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take everything here and I'm just gonna try and mix and match here as best as I can and we're gonna see what we come out with here so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to let's just get rid of that one let's get rid of this one let's do green and then this one right here so what we're gonna do is we are going to create a bunch of different firework balls so I'm gonna set down the gunpowder in here I'm gonna set down let's do one glowstone dust let's make this blue so that's gonna create a blue twinkle small ball uh, firework star and then let's see what else do I, let's I think I want to add a fire charge to this because I want the effect or rather Yeah, I want the shape of it to be a large ball. So this is going to become a large ball. That's blue that twinkles Yeah, isn't that a mouthful? All right, and then I just dropped everything out of my inventory here So now that I have that what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place down some paper some gunpowder and then a firework star Which again that is what adds the effect. So let's go ahead and let's launch that here and then it, launch, it launches up a little bit further because I added a little bit more gunpowder. And then you can see the twinkle effect that happens as a result there. So, yeah, it just it twinkles as the explosion uh, finishes off. So, let's go ahead and let's create a few more before we go ending off this video because I do want to show each and every one of these effects. So, again, it starts off with gunpowder. This time, let's do a diamond. Uh, and then let's do, let's see, uh, let's have the color again be blue. And then let's go ahead and let's add a head. So what this is going to do is it's going to make it a creeper shaped one that's blue that has a trail after it explodes. So now that I have that, again, let's do the gunpowder, let's do the paper, 
and then let's do the firework, uh, this thing right here. I actually should have it in this order, so it's a little bit easier to follow. So then let's do that. I'm just going to have it be uh, one gunpowder because I don't want it to go up very far because I want you guys to be able to see it. So anyways, let's do that. Boom, creeper shape, and then it has this sort of like fading out effect as you guys just saw there. So yeah, it's that's going to turn nighttime here. So I think this is going to be appropriate. Let's go ahead and let's leave it nighttime here while we mess with a few more of these. So what haven't I done yet? So I've shown you guys the small ball. I've shown you guys the large ball. I've shown you guys the creeper shape. So now I have two more left. I have the burst effect and are the burst shape and I have the star shaped shape left. So let's go ahead and let's do this here. Let's uh, let's place in a gold nugget, which is going to give us the star-shaped one. Let's make this... Uh, oh, I don't have any other colors. I didn't take the red out, really. I, I want this one to be red, actually. So let's see. Let's do gunpowder. Let's do a gold nugget. Let's have this one be red. And let's go ahead. Let's see. What else do, do I need to add here? Uh, I'm not going to add any of the effects to it. So this is just going to be a star-shaped red firework. So now, again, as I was doing before... Let's go ahead and let's attach this to the actual firework, and then let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, because I... Ooh, nice. So that's the star effect in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> These look really, really cool. I do like the customization. It's like a completely and totally optional thing. I really like that Mojang is implementing uh, like holiday-related updates in the sense that they have been. So let's go ahead and let's do the last effect here. So gunpowder, a feather... Uh, let's make this one green. Let's go ahead and let's do that. And even though I'm only using red, green, and blue, you can use any dye that you want. I just didn't want to overcomplicate my inventory. So this one's going to be a burst, and it's going to be green. And again, let's go ahead and let's attach this to an actual firework. And then let's go ahead and let's launch this into the sky. Yeah. Boom. So that is the burst effect in a nutshell. Let's just go ahead and let's, let's set off a whole bunch of these. Brrr. Mask of Zorro, but in the sky. Yeah. Z. In the ground, with my sword, except not, except with my fireworks. Like, I think three of you are going to get that reference. Maybe, maybe two, maybe three of you are going to get that reference. So, anyways, guys, uh, I believe I have covered everything that I wanted to go ahead and cover in a nutshell. I actually got through that a lot smoother than I thought I was going to. I thought I was going to struggle to explain that wholeheartedly, but I feel that I did a pretty good job. But again, if you guys are confused about anything that I have talked about in this update, feel free to check out the Minecraft wiki for more information on the 12W49 snapshot. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end off this video here. Uh, I hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and we bid you all farewell. By we, I mean me and the fireworks display here. <laughs> awesome. I wonder, you know what would be cool? I just kind of I just kind of thought of this. What if I placed them inside of a dispenser and then they launched? Maybe they do. Maybe that's something that I didn't know about because I didn't read about it, but I'm just I'm just curious. Yeah, it does do it. Oh, that wasn't even listed in the updates. Boom. Who's boss? Who's boss? Anyways, guys. So yeah, that's something that some of the Snapshot review guides may not tell you is that you can launch these with the Spencers. <laughs> That's awesome. So make some awesome creations, guys. I would really love to see what you guys can do making a fireworks display in Minecraft. So just so I don't miss any details that I feel like you guys would really get on me about, uh, I wanted to note one more thing before I go ending off this video, and that is that you can add multiple fireworks stars to the rockets. So let's go ahead and let's create a rocket here that has multiple effects on it just to see what it's going to look like here. So let's go ahead and let's do that, and let's do that there. So this is going to be a creeper-shaped blue and then a large ball of red. So I'm kind of curious to see if they all explode at the same time or if they explode one after another. Ooh, that is a very cool effect. I feel like this could be used for 4th of July. Like you got like the, the blue creeper face and then the red outline and then you could just add like a white thing in there. And I think that would be really quite something. So yeah, again, I didn't want to go missing that in the video, but you can add multiple firework stars to your rockets to create some really awesome looking things. Again, as I said before, I would really love to see what you guys can create with these uh, fireworks. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end off this video here. If I have missed any details with this snapshot, I will leave them uh, as text or I'll write them in text in the description below. So anyways, hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Antvenom. And I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.